Jovan, congratulations on all the success. Uh, you certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. You guys had a great debut at Fantastic Fest. And now we've finally come full circle and made it to the home video release with yes, Blu-ray and digital. Uh, talk to me about Boyce. Talk to me about the character a little bit. Uh, Boyce was a character that I was really excited to play just because I found myself interested in playing characters who are going through like this intense like inner turmoil and just trying to find I guess where they where they where they land in this world and like what's their purpose. So I was really attracted to Boyce. I think that he is a nice contrast from Ford, Wyatt Russell's character, because he is kind of like the representation of of a fresh eyed young man getting into into the military and having to, to witness war, whereas Ford is a more experienced and possibly uh, tarnished right. uh, being, and he's kind of lost him, him, his, self, his sense of, uh, of humanity, and he's just purely about getting the mission done. So it was nice to have that conflict and to get to play kind of the, the more naive version of that. All the characters are really fleshed out in this movie, and, and this does definitely feel like a band of brothers type of um, war epic, along with the mashup of a horror film. Totally. Julius Avery did a great job uh, with his direction. Now, one of the most intense scenes, we open up it with that plane scene. Right. Can you talk to me about that scene? Because it, it, that, that's a comparable scene to almost any war movie I've ever seen. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I know uh, everybody worked really hard on it. That was one of the scenes that I saw on one of the earlier drafts of the script, and I was just like, I don't know how they're going to pull that off. Because they made it very clear that they wanted that shot to be a one shot. And that's with that brings about its own challenges. But I mean, that was a really, really long sequence filming that. And it was just something that we rehearsed. I mean, it felt like a million times or a lot of moving parts to it. And if everybody's not on their mark where they need to be, when they need to be, people can get hurt because this most of the, uh, the effects on that were practical, even as much as having the, the redesigned C-47 with on the rig with the hydraulics and everything. Everybody just had to be aware of what was going on while still performing. So just doing that was really challenging and it was it felt long, but seeing the final result was awesome. Especially just getting to hear all the sounds when you hear it in the theater and hopefully your home theater and getting to just see everything kind of play and complement each other was awesome. Yeah, it's, an, it's a brilliant, brilliant scene. Now you talked about practical effects. Was a lot of this film done with practical effects? Uh, most of it was, yeah. Was I think really? I think if they ever found an opportunity where they could use practical effects versus CGI, they went with it right away without hesitation. Yeah. And I think that that served us well because it's much easier reacting and feeling, you know, honest when you're trying to be scared when there's actually someone in front of you versus a little X on a green <laughs> screen. You know what I mean? So it was really cool, and the prosthetics that they had on the actors and some of the stunt performers were stunt performers were brilliant. So it was really cool just to get to see it in the flesh and get to react and play off of that. I think it just, it informed all of our performances even more. Now I heard that uh, you and your castmates did a boot camp together. Mm -hmm. And I think on the, the, the Blu-ray version, there's a little bit of, of, of that stuff in there. Uh, can you talk to me about how the boot camp prepared you for the film and also how, it bond, how you formed your bond with your uh, co-stars? I think it just made that bond more genuine. You know, we, we of course had a lot of extras and we had some extended castmates who were involved in filming, but that core group of guys, I think it was important for all of us to really know each other because if you think about it, a lot of these soldiers in the real world, when they're going away and they're enlisting, they're going to boot camp, they're spending a lot of time together. So by the time, if they unfortunately have to see live action, they've spent a lot of time with these guys and they do feel like brothers or close friends or relatives that they've known for a long time. So they wanted that to feel real and feel organic, so I think that that boot camp, you know, learning the terminology that they used back then, learning about the different equipment and weaponry that they use, spending hours and hours and hours with these guys, not getting sleep, experiencing these same drastic circumstances together, only brought us closer, and it made I think our our um, our performances more truthful and just kind of seamless. Did you walk away with a nickname? Did I walk away with a nickname? Not that I can remember. I know that Freddie gave everybody some type of awful nickname. <laughs> I know uh, uh, Dominic Applewhite, who plays Jacob, he had a bunch because his, his last name is uh, Rosenfeld in the movie, but he, Freddie was calling him like Rosensplash, Rosen, Rosengarter, Reagan and Flapper, like just, a lot, just anything and everything. But I know we all had interesting and or embarrassing nicknames, but you would have to ask like Magaro or something because right. he knows everybody's freaking nickname. He's <laughs> such a jerk. <laughs> now, one of the great subplots in this film too is the story between Boyce and Chloe. Right. Um, can you talk to me about that relationship and how it kind of starts and how it fosters? 
I think it's, it's a nice little dynamic as well. I think that his and Ford's was great, but Chloe's was refreshing because these are two people who were just during these drastic times in this war infested area, they really found refuge in finding someone who was like-minded. And it wasn't even about necessarily about having anything intimate, even though like it could go either way. It was just about finding somebody who was open to having some type of interaction with another human being that wasn't violent or that wasn't aggressive. It was just a very peaceful interaction. And I think that Chloe was able to, to really find comfort in Boyce and vice versa. Well, I can't wait for people to see this on home video because I saw it in theaters and I can't wait to see it again. So amazing job, uh, and, and you guys did great. You guys Thank knocked you. out of the park. We all really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Pleasure.